Hello. Hello, how can I assist you today? I need to know the weather of Miami today. Sure, I'm here to help. What do you need to know? I need to look for the weather of Miami today. I can provide general advice on how to find the current weather or forecast but I cannot access live data or updates. To find the weather, you might, one, use a weather website. Websites like the Weather Channel, weather.com, AccuWeather, and BBC Weather offer detailed forecasts for locations worldwide. Two, use a mobile app. Many smartphones come with built-in weather apps that offer forecasts and alerts. There are also many other weather apps available for download. Three, search engines. Simply entering weather followed by your location into a search engine can bring up a current forecast for your area. Four, local news websites or TV stations. These often provide specialized weather forecasts for your region. Five, NOAA or Met Office websites. For those in the United States, the NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, provides accurate forecasts. In the UK, the Met Office provides similar services. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, it's best to look at a reliable source directly. Remember to specify your location for location-based forecasts. Uh, can you do the, uh, the first one for me, please? I'm sorry, but I can't access or provide real-time weather information. However, I would recommend checking a reliable weather website like the National Weather Service, weather.com, or using a weather app on your smartphone for the most current weather forecasts and updates. If you're looking for general advice on how to look up the weather, I'd be happy to help with that. Just let me know what you need. Okay. So let's change the subject. Tell me something about that I know about the I don't know factory, whatever I don't know. Tell me something about um, JavaScript, for example. Sure, I'd be happy to share something interesting from the realm of science. How about we delve into the fascinating world of quantum computing? 
quantum computing represents a significant leap forward from traditional computing. While classical computers use bits as the smallest unit of information, which can be either a zero or a one, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits. What's extraordinary about qubits is their ability to exist in a state of zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to a principle called superposition. This ability allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data and perform complex calculations much faster than their classical counterparts. Another key principle of quantum computing is entanglement, which Albert Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance. When qubits become entangled, the state of one, no matter how far away it is, can instantaneously affect the state of another, which could potentially revolutionize the field of secure communication. Although quantum computing is still in its early stages, it has the potential to transform various industries, from drug discovery and material science to cryptography and optimization problems. The speed and power of quantum computers could enable us to solve problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. The development of quantum computers poses significant technical challenges, including error rates and qubit coherence times, but researchers are making significant strides. As we continue to un conclusion, from its basic components to the complex, immersive worlds of virtual reality, the field of computer technology is ever evolving and fascinating. It's a testament to human ingenuity and creativity offering endless possibilities for innovation and improvement in virtually every aspect of our lives. Whether for work, education, or entertainment, the advent of computers and VR technology has marked a pivotal shift in how we interact with digital environments, opening doors to new realities and experiences that were once the realm of science fiction. Okay, over. Sure, I'd be happy to share something interesting.